to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. Another episode of So Far So... Mm, yeah, we have a look at something that uh, I can't binge watch that's showing weekly on one of the streaming channels. This is uh, Apple TV Plus today. So I've watched four of ten episodes. Some of the critics have managed to... Unfortunately, watch a few more. Some, some like me are having to plod on and watch as they come out. So we're going to have a look at something that's simply called Bad Monkey. This one, uh, I'm doing this review on September the 1st, 2024. So happy, happy September. And it's a black comedy drama TV series based on the novel uh, of the same name by Carl Hyarson, uh, back in twenty back in 2013. Yeah, and his led, of course, stars Vince Vaughn, uh, Michelle Monaghan, yes, Jodie Turner Smith, Meredith Hagner, Rob Delaney, Natalie Martinez, L. Scott Caldwell, Ronald Pete, John Ortiz, Ashley Goldblatt, Victor Turpin, Charlotte Lawrence, Alex Moffat, all in various roles in this one. And it first premiered on August the 14th, 2024. So I've managed to watch uh, four of the episodes. And I think the last episode will air on October the 9th. So about uh, five, 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 five weeks or so after I'm recording this. So we'll have a look about what it's about and how it's doing. That's more important as well. So there's a lot of love out there for this already. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything, film and TV, little reviews like this, information vlogs. I try and give other people's opinions as well. I give you mine. I, I say as much as I need to say. I'm not going to waffle on unnecessarily. So I hope you enjoy the little format. It's slightly different to what other people do, which I like to. I don't like to do the same that everyone else does. So I uh, uh, hope you enjoy it anyway. And I do have football stuff as well on the channel, which is my football team, Manchester City. So if you're very interested in that, uh, please have a look at that or if you know somebody who might be give them a, a poke in my direction and we do have memberships for the channel now which gives early access to all my vlogs football and film and tv of course so you get that uh, scripts are available mainly for the history side of the football thing but uh, 99p a month if you can support me guys it helps me out going forward and uh, it'd be absolutely wonderful if you can do that uh, well, just give us a like, just give us a like for this guys, that's uh, that's nice as well, that's very very welcome and we do have sponsors at the moment, I'll have a quick chat about them before we go uh, but we'll uh, not waste any more time, we'll talk about this this series, four episodes in, four of ten episodes and it's about Andrew Yancey, a former police detective who's been reduced to conducting restaurant inspections in southern Florida, yes we get a drip drip of information as to how this happened or came about. A, a severed arm found by a, a tourist pulls Yancey into the world of greed and corruption that decimates the land and environment in both Florida and the Bahamas. Yes, I've been to the Bahamas, I've been to Florida. They are double, double, double trouble. My thoughts on this, there's a voiceover with this which... Uh, all right, you could call it lazy writing, couldn't you? But I'm mean, to tell you backdrop, but I didn't mind it. It's nice. It gives a, a different sort of vibe to the story, and of course we get background on characters and emotions, etc. Which, uh, all right, the actors don't have to portray because someone's telling us what's happening. But uh, they still do a reasonable job. Uh, a lovely setting, of course, for this. Uh, it makes you all jealous. We're not too bad here in the UK at the moment. We're having a bit of a summer, not a great summer, but uh, in those long winter nights, you watch something like this and you just pine for the for the blue skies and the beaches etc etc and this basically is a great vehicle this is a great role for Vaughan uh, this is ideal this is this is what he's good at this is you go back to his film swingers stuff like that uh, this is an ideal uh, part for him to play and there's a both a new and old feel to the storytelling which isn't a bad thing it has a sort of 80s 90s vibe at times along with a, a bit more modern take some really high foreheads on this series, uh, not as high as mine, but, uh, but pretty close, including Mr. Vaughan himself. And just having a look, I'd, I'd sort of looked at each episode in isolation. Episode one was about 57 minutes, and I, I thought that was a nice slow burn of an introduction. Episode two, uh, I thought it started to dodder along a little bit. I said dodder along 46 minutes, it wasn't as long, but it felt longer. Uh, I only give that a six out of ten, but I thought, of course, uh, for Vaughan fans, uh, that was that was part and parcel. I wasn't overly convinced about the other characters at that stage. Episode three, I said, still dodding along with a six out of ten. But episode four, of course, uh, is where we're going to finish this little review. 
a lot more backstory to this, a lot more creative interest in this, and I was really getting into it. And uh, say I'll be some of these things when I do are so fast, so I, I do struggle to carry on watching, but I'm sure I will carry on watching this. And it was a long episode as well, 56 minutes, but uh, I'm going to score it a seven out of ten for this episode four. I thought we we learnt a lot in episode four, which sort of uh, joins the dots, if you like. And I think the thing about Bad Monkey is that initially, uh, just as it appeared to be plodding along, as I've mentioned there, uh, all of a sudden uh, Vaughn gets 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 better, becomes Vaughn again. He gets to say get a little bit wary in episodes two and three, but of course uh, by episode four it all starts coming together a little bit more as we learn a little a little bit more about the story. And as far as this genre is concerned, it's uh, it's getting to be very very good. And say the good news is when it threatens to be a bit bland, episode four promises so much more, and Vaughn appears to be back to his sarcastic, uh, funny uh, self, uh, which is what makes which what will make this series stand or fall. And the thing is as well, uh, there is a bit of filler, but uh, the more characters have grown in interest as well by episode four. So it's not just all about Vince, um, but of course uh, Yancey is is the guy is the go to guy for this series. As after four episodes, really good potential. I think ep ten episodes on the face of it, uh, when I was watching episode three and four, seemed a bit of a stretch. If it carries on in the in the quality of episode four, then we'll be all right. And of course, you've got Vaughn and a couple of the other interesting characters. Uh, I think we'll carry this through to a, a pleasing uh, conclusion because I think we've, we may have a series two of this as well. So for me, more Yancey, please. I, I was I'm enjoying it again. As I say, it'll be a few dips, bit, bit ups and downs. I think is it total film. Do a do a chart where this show sort of levels of interest in some say a film, and I think that obviously this was sort of into a dip, and now it's going back up again. So more Yancey, please. My scores, I would be fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, I'd be positive on Metacritic, and this has a potential to improve. Actually, I was almost going to give it a seven, but based on the first four episodes, I'm just going to give it a six point five. But as at this point in time, I'm willing to say plus on that. Uh, if you watch my TikTok. Uh, review of this it just says uh, of course 6.5 plus which I've never done before I just think there's potential for this to move higher as well other scores what are all other people thinking well Rotten Tomatoes are positive 7.2 out of 10 66 critics 61 fresh 5 rotten the consensus of the web, website read a vibrant riff on the PI serials of television is yesteryear Bad Monkey's a breezy good time that fully leverages Vince Vaughn's motor mouth charms can't disagree with that one Metacritic give it 74 out of 100 7.4 out of 10 that's 31 critics 23 were positive 8 mixed though which as I say if I've stopped watching it episode 3 I might have been mixed myself but I was encouraged by episode 4 so there's 8 mixed but there's no negative so that's all good Nicole Austin from Empire Magazine give it an 80 out of 100 he said a ridiculous but gripping sun soaked slice of crime comedy Bad Monkey deserves to be your next murder mystery binge watch with plenty of shot twists and turns this show is no basic beach see what they did there Rotten Tomatoes audience they like it 74% uh, on that one Metacritic users uh, 6.9 out of 10 so it's all it's all well and good isn't it as far as internet movie database a very very impressive 7.4 out of 10 so I think this is going to hover between the 7 and the 7.5 and I say that obviously most people on Internet Movie Database are like me would have watched two, three, four episodes. So that all bodes well, doesn't it? So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of you watching this. If you think it's a so far so very good for me. Uh, simple as that. Let me know what you think. Uh, I did mention sponsors. My uh, socials are on the screen. You can contact me through this channel, YouTube, or my socials. If you're interested in sponsoring the channel going forward. And, of course, sponsoring the football side as well. You can do either or or both. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, and see what I can help you out with as well. So if you can uh, just get in touch, we can have a chat about that. And my thanks to Piat6505. They've got a little eBay shop that they're creating at the moment. Still lots more stuff to go on it, but there's a few hundred items on it already. Uh, movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s, some great actors, some great films. I have a couple in the background there of, uh, of their, uh, sort of what we get from Piat6505. 
So I'll give them your support, guys. They also do some rare DVDs, uh, some classic DVDs, Hollywood DVDs and foreign language films that you just can't really get hold of now. So have a look through the channel. And yeah, just mention me. If you say Bernard sent me, send them a message. If you do place an order, say they make great gifts or just treat yourself. If you do place an order, just mention me. Just say Bernard sent me and you'll automatically get a 10% refund on the already uh, pretty reasonable prices anyway. So we uh, uh, so fill your boots so please uh, make sure you tell them though because they won't know otherwise so my thanks to Piat6505 give them your support uh, it'd be great to hear from you and please especially tell me what you thought of this little series or anything to do with film and TV until we meet again I'll never ask one thing don't I please stay safe everyone bye for now mm -hmm.